truckers over here and if this video applies to you well my friend you didn't watch my previous video about the number one thing to watch out for in for in a trucking company link in the description but hey guys I just want to talk to you about so like I said the video is about the number one thing to uh, look out for in a trucking company and that is if they always blame everything on the driver however let's say hypothetically or maybe not so hypothetically you are stuck with this company it pays good it's getting you home and everything or, or whatever the case may be you have to work for this company and they always are blaming everything on you what do you do well, you have to get everything on wax. And what, by that, I mean you need a record of everything. First of all, if you, if you can, uh, you either got Qualcomm or PeopleNet, or if you're dispatched by phone, send as much, much text messages as you can. If they're asking you, you know, to run where you're not uncomfortable, Make sure you have, they send you that in a message. If you got, you know, uh, you, you have proof that you called the customer and, and asked uh, w when this needs to be delivered and, and where it's going and ask for directions and everything, have proof of that. Have, write down somebody's, uh, so I got this little notepad here and so I'll write down when I call the customer I'll write down the uh, the name of the guy I'm talking to I always say I like to speak with somebody in shipping I like to speak with somebody in receiving whichever the case may be um, and and I get a name so that way when you call back hey man I speak with Paul or whatever or if your company says hey you didn't call or make an appointment time Oh, why, yes, I did. I, I spoke with Paul. Called him up, made the appointment time. Now, a lot of these companies will still hassle you about it. That's fine. It just, you, this is just the best way to cover it, man. Works better than, than uh, you know, yelling at them ain't going to do nothing. And, and this, believe it or not, will get the companies to change their ways. I have I have done it. How you may ask. This is the next next point. Whenever you do a pre trip, whenever you pick up a trailer, all right, take a video of your pre trip. Take a video of you walking around the truck and trailer with all the lights on, four ways on, and everything. Uh, you know, I would gauge every single tire. And my company one day got sideways, and they said, "Oh, uh, I think I mentioned this in the other video. Oh, yeah, you, you had a flat tire. Uh, that was your fault because you weren't checking the tires." Well, I got a video of myself checking the tires, and a couple other uh, instances like that. There was damage, and this is the biggest thing. If there's ever damage on a trailer that you you picked up, take a picture of it. You know, you got smartphones your, your uh, camera's going to have the time and everything and try to get the background of the of the picture um, of the place that you picked up at try to get the background of it so for instance like with this load I got right here one of the pieces of tubing was dented a little bit and so what I it, but it was it had to be covered so at this place I picked up at it had to it was actually trailer was parked inside a grain bin to keep it to keep it dry anyway so I took a picture of the damage but I made sure it, you could definitely see that it was before I tarped it before I strapped it that it was in the grain bin at the customer clearly okay now that's a real big thing that you guys uh, got to do and on top of that like so like I said if there's any damage to the trailer but I guess this also goes for damage to the load too, obviously, uh, as I just stated. But anyway, if you do this enough, the, the companies will start straightening out. Do I think it's worth it? Nah, not really. But like I said, sometimes circumstantially you're forced. So 
get as much mess as much as you can in messages, text messages, um, Qualcomm messages, people net, all that. Just get as much as you can on record. Uh, number two, uh, videotape everything. Pre-trips. I take a picture of every load after I strap it down so they can say, oh, you didn't have this strapped down. Oh, well, hang on. Here's a picture of when I picked it up. I did have that thing strapped down. Blah, blah, blah. Or, or you didn't put any edge protection on your tarp. Yeah. Took a picture before I tarped it. Have my moving blankets on there. I'm covered. But anyway, yeah, and, and then the other thing is get names of, uh, of whoever you're talking to. And uh, that's it for this video. I mean, that's one way to rectify it. So, I mean, I also gave you some tips on on um, what to do about a pre-trip. And, hey, that pre-trip tip, I've had officers say, hey, you had this uh, light out, blah, blah, blah. Well, I did my pre-trip this morning, and you can see it's, it's working in there. So, it must just have a, a, a bad connection or something. And I've gotten let off for that. So... Take take that and run with it, man. Take it as far as you want. Smell with tips for truckers. Hey, don't let these companies get away with nothing. Be professional about it. And things will change. Smell with tips for truckers. Have a great day.